TikToker takes back iPhone he supposedly gifted to this little girl after filming. What he didn't know is that he was being recorded and getting exposed for these fake kind deeds he was doing, which are actually extremely terrible because you go from, oh, I get a free phone, this guy's so nice, I I've always needed a phone, to, oh, give me that back or else. And now these kids are crushed as their dreams literally get taken from them. Dude, you are such a POS and you're only using these people for views. Oh, I hope everybody unsubscribes from you and your channel just is, is no more. Because if this is what you're doing for views, you don't deserve views. You're just a horrible person. What's going on, Modern Chodes? It's your boy Long Nail back again with another new video. And in today's video, we're going over the hot posts from r slash I am a total POS. Let's get into it. Hello, if you took my packages at this apartment, whether by accident or on purpose, please return it, no questions asked. I'm physically disabled and rely on deliveries to obtain what I need. I can't shop in person. The clothes probably won't fit you and were purchased to attend a funeral for a colleague. The other items, an extension cord and some water flavoring may not seem like a big deal to you, but are important to me. Hope you'll give me a break. Oh, dude, this is sad that somebody literally has to beg the person that jacked their packages for them back. Uh, uh, like, uh, th this is such a, a big problem, and it, it amazes me that there isn't a solution yet. Obviously, the solution is people don't be scumbags, but unfortunately, that's just never going to happen. There will always be people that just go, oh, look, a free package. I'm going to take it, even though it could be necessary for that person to live. But somebody has to come up with something where people can't just walk up to your house and take your packages. And I know there's, you know, ring, ring doorbell cameras and all that, but apparently it doesn't stop it. There, there just needs to be a way to make sure that they can't even get access to it. Like some, some sort of box or something. Woman tries to jack another kid's scooter for her kid. Huh? Interesting. Instead of buying your kid a scooter, you try to ruin somebody else's fun for the sake of your own child. Now I get it, we go, oh, I would do anything for my child. This is not one of those times where you use that sentence. If you want your kid to have fun on the scooter, you could either A, get him a scooter, or B, politely ask this kid, hey, do you mind if my son gets a turn on that? I'm thinking of getting him one and he doesn't know if he'll like it. And if the kid says, sure, then, and only then do you take the scooter. But, but there is no, oh, I'm taking the scooter. I'm the adult in the situation. No, 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 that's not gonna fly. And if somebody tried that to my kid, I'd be like, hey, start swinging that scooter around and yelling all the obscenities you can and get as much attention to you as possible because just because this is an adult talking to you doesn't mean they get to take whatever they want from you. It's not your scooter, lady. How do I stop my 12 year old daughter from crying herself to sleep? I've punished her and she still does it. Wow, you're a super terrific parent. Your 12 year old is crying herself to sleep, so you punish her? What are you, some narcissistic, empathy lacking wretch? 12 years old can be such a hard age in today's world. There's so many different things to deal with, especially through the pandy. Oh, I have an idea. Change your approach. Have you asked her why she cries herself to sleep? Can you do that without yelling at her? Did it ever occur to you that she might be facing something you don't know anything about? Has it even occurred to you? Open your eyes. A 12 year old doesn't just cry herself to sleep. She's obviously dealing with something causing stress and turmoil, and she may need professional help. Clearly you can't, and if you can't see a problem in front of your own eyes. Oh, bro, this is just horrendous. I, I mean, uh, the, the fact that some people go, oh, the, the solution to my, my child being sad is to punish them for being sad. How does that make any sense whatsoever? Or, oh, well, I don't know, they, they just, they won't leave the rooms because they're so sad, so I'm gonna take away everything that makes them even a little bit happy. I'm sure that'll make them less sad, right? If I take away the only things that make them happy? Yeah, that, that sounds reasonable. Oh my God, you're so dense. You're a terrible parent. This person's 100% right. It sounds like your daughter's going through something. It sounds like you definitely are ill-equipped to handle it. So I'd suggest you, you either learn how to handle it yourself or please go get them some help before it's too late because this 
is not the way to handle the situation. You, you don't punish somebody for crying themselves to sleep. Attention, we are very understaffed. We're very sorry for delays and inconveniences. And we're doing our very best to get your prescriptions, what? Prescriptions ready timely. Please do not yell at the staff we have. We need them. And so do you. Thank you. <laughs> right? I love how people think, oh yeah, the best way to get stuff for me quick is to scream at the only people that can get it for me. I'm sure that'll encourage them to work very quickly and not make them want to accidentally mess up. Obviously, when you're in this kind of business, you obviously you don't accidentally mess up. That's not a thing. You just don't do that. But but I'm just saying, these are like the people like go into the grocery store, making all these crazy demands. Go look in the back. Say, like, okay, yeah, I'll, I'll take a good 10 minute break and I'll get back to you and tell you what I already told you. We don't have it. These people, they think the whole world revolves around them and they can't realize that these people that you're screaming at are already under severe stress because they're understaffed and they're still trying to help you with a smile and in a timely manner. If anything, they deserve a thank you, not a, oh my gosh, I've been waiting so long. Walked into the laundry room because I had to wash a comforter only to find it covered in stuff. My mom called it in and the security footage found this is the guys that did it. Uh, who am I? Where does he live? Hmm, I wonder if they ever get the answers to that. That's the only problem with the security cameras is unless somebody recognizes the dude and is willing to say something, it's like, okay, so you got the face, but then nothing happens. I mean, hopefully somebody goes, oh yeah, I recognize that dude. He lives in the apartment 203 and they can go, hey, Yo, give her 50 bucks for new sheets and stuff because I don't know what you had going through your mind or who ruined your day, but you don't just get to go absolutely wrecking other people's laundry because you had a bad day. Hopefully that happened. Don't know if it did, but I hope so. Anyone missing packages around Richard's Place, First Avenue, or surrounding areas? Here are my neighbors doing their daily rounds. Again, this is what I'm talking about. In this case scenario, they clearly don't even care if they're on camera. They're walking around in broad daylight with a shopping cart going up to people's houses and taking the packages. I, I mean, this is so insane. Again, somebody, please come up with a solution to this. Clearly the cameras aren't working. I know you shouldn't have to come up with a solution for this, but there's gotta be like some sort of lockbox where like Amazon can give you a package and then only you can get to it. Or, or I don't know. I'm sure something exists, the fact that it that you even have to consider that though is so ridiculous. Why can't people just be nice and do the right thing? Want to send me a cute pic of you so I can post it on my private story so I can pee off my GF? Wow, I mean, you could just break up with her, dude. Clearly this relationship is going absolutely nowhere if your sole purpose of being in the relationship is to make the other person miserable. This is so toxic. I mean, I mean, I don't know if you're 13 years old and this is the first time you're dating, but if so, here's a lesson. If you're both unhappy, just end the relationship. There's no point in seeing who can out toxic each other. It just makes your life miserable for the couple of months until you inevitably decide, oh yeah, let's break it off. Seriously, spare yourself the emotions and just go, hey, this clearly isn't working out. We despise each other. We've tried to work it out. It's just not meant to be. Let's move on and call it a day. Don't be immature and just go, oh, I'm gonna make your life miserable. Ha ha ha. All right, Matter Chodes, that's it for the hot posts from r slash I'm a total POS. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. And of course, share this video with your friends. And if you wanna help support the channel for free, Anytime you have any shopping to do on Amazon, just click the link in the description down below. Do your shopping as regular. It won't cost you anything extra and it'll help support the channel. So I'd really appreciate it. Till next time, peace.